Hey guys, welcome back to another review on our YouTube channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at the Harley Davidson Detail Spray. This is called Engine Brightener. So I keep seeing this come up over and over again in the forums, guys, and on Facebook. Um, what's the best thing to put on the black matte part of your motorcycle to make this look new again? This is a 2014 Street Glide, guys, and it's starting to get a little gray, a little white haze to it. So guys, I went to my local HD and I picked up a can of the uh, Engine Brightener from those guys. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of options out there, guys. There's the... Uh, S100, I believe it's called, and the, the pig snot, and the, the, there's just there's a plethora of things out there that you can use. One of the detailing tips that uh, I can tell you, um, if your motor is completely filthy to begin with, don't use this. Get the motor cleaned up real good. Killer Wax makes a good product for that too. It's called Vampire Blood, and it's actually a really good cleaner and degreaser that you can get in here and clean everything off with. You wanna make sure the motor's really, really clean before you apply this. Um, it is extremely flammable, so make sure everything is turned off. Make sure you're not smoking or anything like that. One of the things I've seen in the past, uh, somebody said that they put uh, WD-40 on their uh, black part of their motor and and that's great guys that stuff's flammable too the only problem with that is is it doesn't actually dry up so uh, be careful doing the wd-40 thing the motor gets extremely hot when you're riding so a couple other detailing tips guys when i'm detailing a uh, motor my motor anybody's motor i like to get these little cheap brushes like this these are like 75 cents and 50 cents at walmart uh, but these come in very very handy especially these foam ones for getting down in here in between the uh, fins on your motor so hopefully i've got the camera moved in here guys where you can see it uh, the motor is actually really clean i've got some leftover overspray and stuff from where i was cleaning it on my chrome i'm not worried about my chrome right now i'm just going to get in here and spray this and I, uh, once again i'll use my brushes to help me get into the tight spots All right, guys, so we got that side sprayed down. We're just gonna let that set. As you can see, uh, I have a big bright camera light, but I also went and got my uh, LED headlight. I can pinpoint down in these little holes because uh, it looked pretty well covered to me. But once I grabbed my headlight and got down in there, uh, there were some spots that I actually missed. So what I'm gonna do is just let that set for 15, 20 minutes while I work on the other side of the bike. So this is the first side that I worked on guys and it's been about 15 minutes and I just wanted to bring the camera over so you could see and uh, it, it actually did a really really good job guys this is the first time I've ever used this stuff and this is the second side that I did guys and uh, it's been about 10 15 minutes I guess and it uh, looks equally as good no blotchy marks or anything like that like I said I did take my rag and my little sponge brush and kind of touch up some places uh, but really impressed with the way that it looks right now so guys pretty impressed with the uh, outcome of this stuff for uh, 16 bucks a can it really did brighten up the black parts of the motor uh, like i said little useful tip guys get yourself one of these little 50 cent brushes these little foam brushes what i found myself doing while i was doing that uh, just like i do with the back to black the parts that builds up in there don't wipe it with a towel and get rid of it actually put it on the sponge like that and just kind of smear it around and even it out actually use what's on there uh, to uh, until you get it uh, to where it's not puddling in the small areas instead of dabbing it up and wasting it just use the uh, sponge and just kind of spread it around to other parts of the motor 
that you may have missed. Now, like I said, guys, I cannot compare this to Pig Snot. I'm not going to sit here and compare it to Lemon Pledge and WD-40 and all that good household cleaner and uh, stuff that you guys are putting on your motors. I'm not going to do that, guys. Uh, I have used Back to Black on the motor. It works. It's just a temporary fix. What I think happens with the Back to Black is it's more of like a lotion. It actually works. It makes it look black. But what's happening is you're leaving that residue, that, that lotion, on your motor. Your motor gets hot. You cake and you bake that stuff onto the motor, and then you start getting that white hazy look again. Like I said, it's a fix and it's kind of cheap uh, to do, um, but it's, it's a temporary fix. And within a month, my, my motor was looking ashy again. So we'll just have to wait and see how long this lasts, guys. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with my purchase uh, on this. Uh, the pig snot and all that stuff wasn't much cheaper than this. I think the other S100 or whatever was actually a little bit more expensive than this. So, so let me know what you think. In the comments guys i love swapping ideas with you if this video helped you please hit the like and subscribe it helps us keep this channel going and doing these videos for you it lets me know that you're out there and they're actually helping and i appreciate the heck out of it guys so hit that subscribe and you'll be the first one to know uh, when we upload a new video every time we do an upgrade or use a product upgrade like this on the street glide we try to get it on video so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to use that product on your bike but until the next video guys as always be safe and keep your knees in the breeze